hello friends welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make a micro filling machine for precise liquid filling from 1 milliliter to 10 milliliters this machine is perfect for small bottles lab use diy projects and even small scale production you can fill medicine serums perfumes and scents with the help of this machine it is very accurate easy to use and saves time compared to the manual filling This video is sponsored by JLC PCB where you can order your 5 pieces of up to 32 layers PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. If you are planning to order premium 6 layer PCBs, this is right time for that. Place your order and get a special discount of 30 US dollars. Now you can get a big discount on their PCB layout service with their ongoing limited time campaign. So if you are a new customer then you can avail a discount up to 360 US dollars. Now you can also order a custom SMT stencil with your PCBs just for 3 US dollars. One of a good addition in their services is flexible PCBs. Now you can order flexible PCBs starting from 2 US dollars. Another exciting news is that the newly released RP2350A4 chip is launched on JLC PCB. So go here on this page and include this amazing chip in your upcoming projects. To order for your PCB assembly, first upload PCB Gerber files, then bill of material file and pick and place file and then place your order. Ok guys, so finally our PCBs are here. Let me open the box to show you our new PCBs. As you can see the build quality is perfect and really good as always. Here are some components that are required to complete our control board PCB. Here are 250 kilo ohm potentiometers, some male and female heater pins, a 2 terminal block, a 100 microfarad capacitor, DC power jack, a 5 mm LED, 7805 voltage regulator with this heat sink, two tactile buttons and uh, here is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and 310 kilo ohm resistors and uh, now I will solder all these components to our new PCB. Ok guys, so component soldering is done and uh, now we will collect all other materials that are required to complete our machine. Here are all the 3D printed parts that are required to complete our filling machine. So here you can see a bottle holding tray and uh, here is a handle for this tray. Here is a shaft coupling, a limit switch holder a ball bearing holder and uh, this is NEMA 17 stepper motor holder. This part and uh, this part, these both are the side brackets of this bottle holding tray and uh, this is the pipe holder and these two parts are the main back side of the machine. So basically these two parts should be printed in one piece but my 3D printer cannot print this big part in one piece. So that's why I split it from the half but after printing if you want you can join both of them with the help of some super glue. Here is an 18 inches long and 4 inches wide piece of hardboard. We will construct our machine on this piece. So now I will connect these 3D printed parts on this piece of hardboard with the help of these screws. Now this part will be connected here. 
with the help of these screws and uh, now this part will go here and uh, now similarly these parts will be connected here now this bracket will be connected here and uh, this bracket will be connected here now we will connect this handle here and uh, now this tray will go here like this now this limit switch holder will go here and uh, later we will be able to adjust it according to our requirements okay guys so now this part of our machine is complete and uh, now we will collect all the remaining materials that are required to complete our filling machine this is a 16 into 2 line i2c lcd here are two a4988 stepper motor driver modules here is a 608 ball bearing arduino nano and uh, this is a stepper motor based peristaltic liquid pump here you can see the model number and uh, this is a simple NEMA 17 stepper motor this is our control board and uh, here you can see two knobs for these potentiometers a micro limit switch and uh, here are two jumpers we will put these jumpers here on these pins to make the step settings for each stepper motor here you can see a 40 cm long screw shaft for this project we only need 30 cm long shaft but unfortunately I don't have a 30 cm long shaft so that's why I am using this one and uh, here you can see a nut for this shaft now we will connect this stepper motor here now this ball bearing will go here now we will insert this nut here in this pipe holder now this shaft coupling will be connected here and uh, this part will go here and uh, now we will insert this shaft here now this limit switch will be connected here now this motor driver will go here and the other one here and uh, now I will place this jumper here on the middle pins and the second one will also go here on the middle pins I already installed the Arduino code you can get more information about the Arduino code in video description. Now this Arduino will be connected here. Now I will make all the wiring connections and uh, then I will fix this control board here and this LCD will be connected here. 
let me tell you more about the wiring connections wiring connections are very simple and easy everything is written on pcb so this lcd wires will be connected here with these points and uh, the limit switch wires uh, here is the limit switch and the limit switch wires will be connected with this terminal and the stepper based liquid pump wires will be connected here with these terminals as you can see here and this NEMA 17 stepper wires will be connected here with these points here you can see two extra points for the screw terminals so if you want to connect these buttons with extended wires then you can put this type of terminal blocks here at these points and then you can connect start and stop button with extended wires with these terminals now let me do all these wiring connections and then i will be back okay guys so all the wiring connections are now complete now let me tell you one thing here previously we put these jumpers here on the middle terminals but these jumpers should be at the top terminals let me change them here i have some 5 mm pipes so now i will connect these pipes with this pump for the liquid so this small pipe will be connected here for the output and this pipe here for the input of liquid and now at this side we will connect it with this holder like this and uh, now this thing will go here like this as you can see okay guys so finally our machine is complete and uh, now it is ready to use now i will connect it with the 12 volt power supply source and uh, then i will dry run the machine to show you the functions and the working of the machine after that I will put the bottle tray here and then we will fill some liquid in the bottles. So this head will automatically move to the initial position. Here you can see there are two values. This one is speed and this one is time. Basically these both functions will control the speed and the filling time of the liquid pump with the help of these potentiometers you can set any value according to your desired filling amount as you can see with the help of this potentiometer we can change the time up to 5000 and the minimum is 500 and similarly we can change the speed up to 100 so now i will press the start button and uh, as you can see we can control the speed of the liquid pump and time And after completion of the filling, this head will automatically move to the initial position. And uh, during the running of the machine, if you want to stop the machine at any point, you can stop it with the help of this button. Let me show you. So now I will press the stop button, it will automatically stop. Now here I have some 5 ml glass bottles and uh, now I will put these bottles in this tray. And 
and uh, now we will put this tray here now here I have some white color liquid in this container so we will put the input pipe of the pump in this container and now I will press the start button and uh, our machine will start filling the bottles Now we can remove the tray and replace the bottles and then we can start filling again. So guys that's it for today's video. All necessary information about this project you can find in the video description. I hope you will like my this project, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.